is going on everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video. If you're new, please subscribe. Like the video, really helps out. So KSI has been under a ton of controversy lately. Least of all the other day when he said a racial slur in a Sidemen clip. Look, we need points in it, all right? I don't <laughs> no, mean, no, you, I you, don't you mean this maliciously, but the word <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm sorry. We need points. <laughs> I don't. Did it right. Guys, come on. Now, a lot has happened since then. We have a ton of responses and apologies. Also, a clip of KSI today actually talking about it for the first time on camera during just before his press conference for Joe Fournier. So let's first get into the side men's apology. They all personally made an apology too. Vic Staff started it off by saying, following our group statement, I want to make a personal apology to everyone hurt by my reaction to comments made in last week's side men video. As a South Asian, I fell short of my responsibility to ensure this racial slur that sadly I'm all too familiar with is not tolerated nor trivialized. This is a mistake. I won't ever make again. Toby made an apology. It was a lot longer. He goes on to say, Firstly, apologies for the delay on an individual response to the situation. It was important that each of us individually took time to reflect and see where and how we were wrong in order to hold ourselves accountable and educate our audience so we don't make the same mistake. I'd like to apologize personally and sincerely to the South Asian community for my lack of action in the situation, particularly having spoken passionately against racism before. Regardless of context or intent, the words should never have been said, allowed to be said, and then even upon edit, allowed to be kept in. It showed a huge amount of ignorance on our part as to exactly how offensive it is. A lesson we have now had to learn the hard way, but something we will grow and use to educate others via our platform. To anyone defending us, I ask that you simply please understand frustration of those hurt. There is a huge lack of understanding about the horrible history of that word in the UK, and the use and reaction in the video reflected that. We also strive to be entertaining with our content and usually we know where to draw the line, but we overstep the boundary hugely here and let everyone down. We've taken measures both individually and collectively to make sure this doesn't happen again. So from the bottom of my heart, I ask for your forgiveness once more on behalf of myself and the boys. God bless, Toby. Simon put out a tweet saying, on a personal note, I want to apologize. Also, the ignorance shown can't be ignored, and I genuinely am sorry from the bottom of my heart. It won't happen again. Ethan tweeted out, Regarding the events that took place in the last Sidemen Sunday, I wanted to personally apologize for my reaction. Laughter around the word which has such impact on the South Asian community isn't acceptable, and I'm deeply sorry for causing such hurt. As an individual and a group, we failed our responsibility to take care of the influence we hold. As mentioned in our statement, educating ourselves and our audience is key in the pursuit to doing better zerka put out this statement wanted to tweet something personally following from our collective statement on sidemen socials i'm extremely disappointed in myself for my reaction and the comments made in the most recent sidemen sunday i'd like to sincerely apologize for both my reaction and lack of action in the situation itself regardless of intent the words should never have been said allowed to be said laughed out or even allowed to have made it into the final version of the video it showed a huge amount of ignorance on our part if you're unaware yourself of how offensive the word really is please don't blindly defend us instead Please both be sensitive and understanding to the frustrations of those that are hurt. I also encourage you to educate yourself on the history of the word as I've now done myself. In regards to the side men, we always strive to be a positive source of entertainment to be enjoyed all with zero tolerance towards racism and discrimination. However, we regrettably missed the mark here and let everybody down. We've put in place measures individually and collectively to ensure something like this will never happen again. All we can ask for is your forgiveness, Josh. I mean, KSI before his press conference with Joe Fournier said this. Uh, first of all, I want to address uh, a recent incident in a video whereby my actions uh, have affected many, many people, especially in the South Asian community. Uh, I want to take this opportunity to offer my deepest and most sincere apologies for my words and actions. In a recent video, I use a racial term that is offensive to so, so many especially in the salvation community. There were no excuses for what I said, and I, I recognize I've caused a lot of hurt and disappointment to so many people, so many people that look up to me. And my ignorance has, has only reinforced the negative stereotypes that have existed for way too long in this country. Uh, I want to express I want to express my heartfelt regret uh, for what I said, and I want you to know that I am genuinely 
ashamed and deeply sorry uh, for any pain or suffering uh, I have caused. KSI also visited mosques. Um, here is him visiting a mosque in Bradford. With the intention of malice, even those probably sat on the side, man. They probably didn't understand. They must have. They might have just been like. So, you know what? Left off a it, it, it was like ignorance it. from what I saw. You know that's and, what and it was. Did I not mention yeah, that word? Yeah, yeah. That they were, but that's where he's. It's part of learning. Yeah. yeah. Everyone he's makes here yeah. to learn about what it is. He's never been in a mosque. He said. The Imam from that mosque actually made a statement about KSI. Last night I had a private meeting with KSI and I see people diminishing the value and importance of it. I felt the need to come out publicly and let me know what actually happened. I had a long, deep and genuinely sincere conversation with him. As a leader in my community, I don't use my words lightly. KSI came here to Bradford to meet with me with pure intent to start the pathway to right his wrong and the first step in gaining a deeper understanding and education of his mistake. He realizes the extent of his mistake and is genuinely remorseful and apologetic for the hurt he caused the South Asian community. The history of the Pakistani and South Asian community in the British society was explained to him and the dangers of normalizing offensive slurs to his audience was highlighted at length. I know he will grow from this and be more conscious in understanding his influence and to use it for, for good. I believe this was a necessary lesson for his growth and although the incident has had a negative impact in the short term, the positivity that arises from his understanding will outweigh it in the long term. If a man is willing to be educated and grow, I will always embrace it. He came with a genuinely remorseful heart and good intention. He brought no cameras and was filmed by our own enthusiastic community members in their excitement of meeting and seeing KSI unexpectedly here in Bradford. I also took the opportunity for him to visit the Masjid so he can see and experience this. He was amazed by the entire self and was eye-opening for him. I explained as a part of his growth he must understand the different races, cultures and religions in his audience so not to cause offence and this was one step close to that. I can only vouch for my interaction with him and reiterate that he took his time out to learn about our race, religion and community. So yeah, that is everything that has been happening right now. I also um, had a call, Mams Taylor, KSI's manager, me and him had a call today. He kind of explained uh, to me anyway, I mean, I didn't call him, he, he called me, that uh, KSI really didn't understand the history of that word properly. So that's why he actually went and he was getting educated about that rather than a slur being bad as much as it looks very pr if he actually went there to educate himself as he actually genuinely didn't know then that's fair play but yeah that is it for this video let me know what you think down below thank you for watching subscribe if you're new and until next time fuck off